I would define as the, the hardest five days of dieting that I've ever done. But not just from a hunger standpoint, it was more the emotion and the mental side of things. I just felt so detached from everyone and, and isolated, which is hard. morning of the first high day so we've just checked in had the news back that we're going to be running 750 gram of carbs in today which is the highest amount that we've run which is is what I need um, I'm flat I'm fatigued mentally and emotionally drained um, and off the back of those the, the high day today we'll, we'll run a pump up session reps in reserve so no no fatigue um, accumulated, always like two to three reps in reserve, no sets till failure and just focusing on maximum delivery of pump and blood flow. So I think there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven exercises, um, two to four sets, no reps, lower than uh, 12. So. Looking forward to that. Uh, food choices today have been very much the same as what you saw in the previous high day with the introduction of honey and just some more rice um, and additional squares bars. So the macros are currently sat at 750 carb, 250 protein, 80 fats, 4,671. Uh, 4, but it's not been easy to, to get to, to this stage. And, and obviously you, the, the last video was at Prophecy and since Prophecy on Friday, that has probably been what has I would define as the, the hardest five days of dieting that I've ever done. But not just from a hunger standpoint, it was more the emotion and the mental side of things. I just felt so detached from everyone and, and isolated, which is hard. Um, I've sat in the bath some nights and, and really questioned why am I doing this? But I, I, I think the reason for that is because I pride myself on exceptionally high standards and bringing my absolute best and when you get to this part of the prep you question everything on wednesday uh, on on tuesday yesterday i just asked cal if i could just have a full day off no photos i just said look i appreciate we're like four or five days out but can i just have no day off photos i'm just sick of taking photos of myself and reviewing it and thinking oh am i sharp enough am i am i lean enough am i going to be ready and i just felt like overwhelmed and I think also because I've put so much into this since the start of the year, it's all I think about now. And that can be incredibly, incredibly draining. So I was happy with this this morning shots. I'm happy that we've got a high day, but I think anybody who's done bodybuilding, does a competition prep knows there's not really that much to get excited about on a high day other than it significantly elevates your hunger. And the next day is, is hell. Um, but my forecast is we'll run a, another high day tomorrow, but you guys will be with us to, to see that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not been easy. It, it's been a, a mental, emotional, and physical roller coaster that I'd be lying if I said I'm not ready <laughs> ready for that roller coaster to finish sometime soon. But we've got this show this weekend, um, and then we've got Milan. And I think the one thing that's making me nervous is. If I do miss in Milan, I know what I'm like, and I'll 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 go chasing. And there's a British finals in Manchester four days after, five days after Milan, and I know exactly what I'm like in terms of will I be at that show? There is a high chance if I do miss in Milan. So I think that's what's dragging me down a little bit emotionally. But one thing that I am going to do from today onwards, after this big massive bowl of 130 gram of oats, 15 gram of honey, 100 mix veg, 100 100 mix veg. 100 berries is um, start looking at the journey and being thankful for being on it rather than wishing it to be over because the hard work is nearly done and I'm incredibly grateful for everybody who supported and, and, and reached out but also to be in a position where I can have one of the best prep coaches guiding me, I can have Alex documenting the journey but I wanted to keep it real and raw and it's, it's not been easy and um, I won't be rushing back into one of these straight away, that is for sure. Um, I'll be enjoying some nice downtime, um, but we're nearly there and we're going to keep digging, so we won't miss. Mm. 
my mum had honey on a yogurt the other day and I said to her, one thing I'm craving is honey. Honey, dark chocolate, peanut butter. I'll show you my Instagram. So this is my explore page and I've got a weird satisfaction of just watching food fucking videos. And I mean that, like, I'm not talking shit. All I've been doing is watching them. And that's probably the wrong thing to do, but when you've got, I mean, look at that. There's not one meal, like Burger King, KFC, Five Guys, whatever you can, oh my God, that I'm actually craving. So like someone said to me, oh, like my mum was like, what do you want to eat after the show? And all I want is cake and blondies and brownies, so. I guess I'm a dessert guy. But finishing my main point is I've got honey in this and it makes oats unreal. So if you're eating oats and you don't like them, 15 gram of honey, even though we're mindful, because 15 gram of honey, still got 11 gram of carbs. But it's worth every 11 gram. Good morning, mate, hope you're well. Thanks for the overviews. Rather than just having your hands out like this, where really you're not engaging with those lats. Obviously the side shots, perfect, the front shot's perfect. And what that hide is, you're gonna take your protein down 20%. What you want to do is initiate that so it's a little bit straighter there. Chest up and proud, the position's good here, but the arm path just needs to be that little bit straighter. You should see how many laps I've, um, I've actually done around this kitchen. I'm grateful for my mum my mom and stepdad's kitchen because Honestly, like the amount of times I've not wanted to go outside, I've had like 3,000 steps to do and all I do is just get back to clients on the phone and do laps in the kitchen. But we're going to head out and get some proper output in um, very, very soon. Because this is the, the life of an online coach, obviously it's peak week, check-ins are still on, been up since 6, 705 steps, so we'll go and put a big dent in, three or 4,000 now and then get a couple of thousand at the gym. Then a few, I'm gonna be smart today with output. I don't wanna get all my steps in in one hit like I've been doing, um, because I've got a lot of food going in. So let these oats digest through the first initial steps, have probably meal two, a few more steps after that and then to the gym. So it's gotta be smart with how you manipulate your output. And of course I've got more energy, so my ability to get more steps in today should be fairly easy. With no cardio, we're all smiles, we're picking up as the day progresses, so. I'm excited, my belly is bloated though, which I guess is a good sign because I was so flat this morning. Uh, but I've just put the uploads onto Instagram. I've got a lot of love and support for people, so it must look good. I'm excited to see what I look like on a tan. I don't use anything like sunbeds. Um, I'm really against them, so I don't really like to use sunbeds, so I'm really pale and pasty at the minute. So post tan, I should look sick on Friday, so I'm excited. Then the glaze pre-stage. Almost time, and I'm actually, for once in my life, as a massively introverted person who hates things like speaking out in public or stepping on stage in particular, I'm actually excited. And the reason for that is I've put the work in, but not just put the work in from the food and the cardio, I've been posing for eight months with Isaac, and Isaac's coming over Friday, he's in Milan with us next week. And I actually feel so confident in my own ability to present my physique. And the last time I stepped on stage, I could not pose. So it's all going to come to fruition. Nine months of absolute graft to take that win home. Pet hate is when bodybuilders finish a show, they have a bowl of cream of rice or chicken, and they say, too focused on the end goal. Shut the fuck up. Too focused on the end goal. Just eat some food and enjoy it. I understand it if you've got back-to-back -back peak weeks, like I have, but I'll still be having a brownie. In fact, I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna big up a local supplier. She probably doesn't even know I am, but a shop is called Cakes by Nancy, and she puts a menu on every week. The menu goes live today. And last week's menu was this. I think she's Sheffield based. It was one Biscoff white chocolate chip brownie, one white hazelnut bueno cookie bar, one time salted caramel white chocolate flap, flapjack and a Snickers peanut butter blondie. That's like the perfect snack box for me. 
even with the flapjacks, I'm hoping she puts it on. So if it was the 19th of September, she's late. She should be putting it on today. So we'll, we'll, we'll keep you tuned. And um, I'm gonna order that and I'm gonna have one of each after the show. So I'm not craving any burgers and fries or like bad food. So even if that's my treat, and Italy's on a Sunday, so we've got an extra day to drop water. So why not? But yeah, as you can see, very food focused, and rightly so, are they eating the same food for 12 weeks with barely any dietary fats, no dark chocolate, no peanut butter, just chicken, rice, chicken, potatoes, beef, mince, veg. So yeah, I am craving. We're gonna head out and get some steps in now. I'm at that stage now where not even people who know me and have watched the channel know how much I appreciate a fresh trim and like, I don't like this stubble. I'm, I'm going full baby face for the show on Saturday. I'm gonna get rid of everything. Um, I'm gonna have a trim Friday morning before the tan, but I'm just at that stage in prep where I think I've wore, probably wore the same clothes fucking every day. Um, not every day, but like same hoodie, similar shorts. Just the appearance and giving an absolute Damn how I look has diminished. Um, snapback hoodies. But it's meant to be a nice day today. I'm absolutely freezing, which is a good sign that I've got very little body fat. But just said to Alex, I've still got no energy. And I'm not going to. Three days out, but I thought the, the bowl of oats would have touched me more than this. Um, but we're smiling because the next meal is a beautiful meal. We've got plenty of chicken. Plenty of carbs, squares, bars, and then we'll get a nice pump up session and put some blood around. So <sighs> keep digging, keep taking those deep breaths. This video will be going live tomorrow. So Alex is living out my pocket. So you can see what we're investing in terms of time, effort into the channel. Um, we're on 13,600 subscribers and the most recent videos are doing the best that they've ever done. And people are commenting saying I should be on 50,000 subscribers, but they're probably the people who still aren't subscribed to the channel. <laughs> um, but no, thank you for everyone who is subscribed and we've got a lot of momentum. We don't want it to drop off. Um, so if you're watching this and you're thinking, am I actually subscribed? Hit that subscribe button because it allows us to keep producing the content, allows us to keep delivering value um, and educating you guys on fitness, on health, on well-being, um, on bodybuilding. So it means a lot and it'd be a huge achievement if we hit 15,000 subscribers by, let's say the end of the year. We only need 1,400 more and we've gained 500 in the last 28 days. So let's keep pushing. We've done 3,000 steps. Um, we've probably got another 10 minutes left of this walk and then we're in for Meal two, I am starving, which is a good sign. And the midsection feels tight, very tight. So we're cooking on gas, excited. Meal two, 115 raw weight rice, 100 greens. And then we also have 150 chicken, mum? Yes. 150 chicken. Drop protein slightly as always. Um, this rice is usually 100, but we've gone for an additional bump of 50 carbs today to really try and fill. So we'll see, and then we've also got 100 pineapple, two squares bars, and then we'll head to the gym for the pump up. I'll just look at the position Harlow takes up here. He's free, his first touch is brilliant, his second touch is lovely, and he thinks, you know what it is? None of the other players have managed to hit the target yet and test this goalkeeper. If you'd have asked me in the off season, how easy is four and a half thousand calories? I've told you to leave me alone because I hate food. But this four and a half thousand calories today will be the easiest four and a half cal four and a half thousand calories I've ever eaten. We're gonna have to lock and load a 15k eating challenge after these shows. Cause I will wipe the floor with it. Meal two, done. Pre-work, pre-workout, intra workout, and have a coffee, do um, a few more check-ins, and then shower, gym. I bet that like 60 to 60 to 90 minutes pre to the foods in. Uh, we'll get post-workout shots for Cal, as requested, 
um, and fire them over and then home for a glorious day of eating. And we've already hit four and a half thousand steps. Game on. So eight check-ins left for the day. I'll probably do a few more now. Um, clear the late ones that have come in this evening while chilling on the sofa. I feel like as you enter a prep, get yourself in the, 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 the less stress state environment possible. No calls for me. Watched Equalizer for two hours last night, just watching a little bit of football. I'm chilled, I'm calm, I'm collective, I'm focused on the job. That's what you need. In a peak week, stressed, we ain't in a good spot. Feel stoned. I think that's because of the carbs. And this is like the knock-on effect of more carbs, but we've got monsters locked and loaded in case we need them. I'm trying to stay off them today because I do feel the meals are sitting well like an hour after I'm eating them. My midsection's tight, but just like after I'm eating them, I'm feeling a bit like I could easily jump in bed now and have an hour. And that's been the last two or three weeks of prep. Like, I am a napping kind of guy. Um, I will nap quite frequently, but the naps have gone from like 15, 20 minutes to like two hours over this last week. I went on the set yesterday. I got on the set at four o'clock and I woke up at quarter to seven like, like I'd literally eaten a space cake. So that's how I know I was in the trenches. Jude. Jude, don't come here, won't you? Come here. Come here. I've got no energy. Come on, mate. Sort of job. Come on. Come on. Mm -hmm. He's growing up too fast. He's free. It's his birthday, uh, day after my show. So that's another reason why I think bodybuilding's extremely selfish because I want to be able to take him out for his birthday and stuff like that. And you can't, you're limited to what you can do. Um, but hopefully the shows go to plan and the final week in the UK will be spent with family. But he's growing up way too fast. When I moved to Dubai, he couldn't even speak or walk. Now he's speaking, he's walking. <laughs> He must be carb loading because he's just eating crackers and crisps and bagels and <laughs> shepherd's pie. Some life, some life. Just hitting reps in reserve here. Two to three, high reps, uh, 15. Two sets on here, dead stop at 15 reps. So just finding a weight that's one gonna challenge us but not generate or accumulate too much fatigue. So we got that one, bang on the money. fine but that were testing a bit more like there were more reps but just don't want to do all stupid have a little rest there and i'll go in my lats feel fucking huge at the minute as they are don't know how man i looked at my back at the start of the year it was terrible yeah, but i think that's one thing that you want to focus on yeah I must be fucking about this <laughs> Chris over today, um, obviously he competed at PCA. We'll not comment on it just because 
We remain professional, but um, questionable results. But he's joining me at Two Bros um, this weekend, which will be nice to have someone present backstage. And I think you'll agree after PCA, backstage is a bit of a weird place. That's why I don't love competing. I think if you get the right audience backstage and the right people who want to like network and actually speak, it's brilliant. If you get a bunch of dickheads, it's an absolute nightmare. Everyone just trying to stare at you like, what's he look like? Just say hello, how are you? How's your prep been? Be a normal person, but he's in class F, I'm in class B, so we're not directly against each other. But if we win as class, we will be, so that'd be nice. Um, and then we're just gonna have a quick look at him today as well. Going for slightly a different approach um, because we didn't get rewarded at PCA for what we brought, did we? And there's videos on PCA's Instagram and it's like, I've chose not to look at it because when you put so much time, effort into a prep, yeah, the, the success of a prep is not dictated on a result, but when the result's a questionable one, you can't help but be frustrated. Fairly tight. Back shots, this is full now. This is as good as the back's gonna get. And then we'll update you on the front tomorrow. So it's still flat, no pump on here, but I think you can see the condition. The legs are even in at the minute, which for me is is wild. So like the legs are fully in, um, calves are in, so we're moving well. The calves are sitting well. Midsection control is there. So. We're nearly there. Got a lot of carbs to go in today, but everything's transitioning to plan. Head home now. Um, don't feel fatigued from that at all. Carbs to go in when we're back. Big meal. Hit the abdominal shot. I'm gonna drag you flat. I want that midsection sharper. And really bring you in tight. Spin to the back. You've adjusted that shot slightly, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, you get more density from the lower lats. Yeah. Tomorrow will be a very good look. And then we'll see, but I think tomorrow we can run you again. If we come in sharp, that's where we stand the chance. If we, if we don't, the guys are bigger. So if we come in sharper, then that's where two bros will reward you. Don't matter if, we, if we're chasing fullness, we're not gonna get new muscle mass, are we? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you'll get pumped, yeah. you're sensitive. So the minute we reintroduce carbs and some, some, some fats, but if we get that midsection tighter tomorrow, We'll see if you wake up tomorrow and you're good. You might, but remember, you're not going to be flat, mate. You ate Sunday. You ate Sunday. So you've got Monday, Tuesday. 
Wednesday, Thursday, four days depletion, and then five days. I'm fine, I'm good. Yeah. That's where I think we stand the best chance. So it's 4 p.m. We've got 4,000 steps to hit. Um, we've just had two, two squares bars. Um, we've got 130 gram of oats, 100 gram of mixed berries, 15 gram of honey, and then we have another meal, which is 150 chicken breast, 130 rice, greens, um, 150 beef mince for the final meal, 130 rice, greens, and then two squares bars of either of those, as well as 150 gram of apple and 30 gram of whey. Taking the total calories to, to four and a half, like I said today, with 750 carbs, not gonna lie, even though that was a pump session and reps and reserve, I am absolutely drained. So gonna eat these in peace. Um, relax for the rest of the evening i've probably got five or six check-ins to get through but i think it's it's almost my nap time and it's like i said at the start of the, the video these high days look great but at this stage when you are as depleted and fatigued as you are they do very very little um and the the social battery for me is is on empty at the minute we're going to be back first thing in the morning. Um, we're going to have a look at the, the physique, review the data in terms of scale weight and see what's happened and look at the visuals and compare fast at this AM in comparison to fast at tomorrow AM. We'll repeat that Friday where my forecast is we'll drop down to baseline foods. Midsection control's good, even now, feel tight around that midsection. Um, and everything's going to plan. Normal fluid today, seven liters, sodium six. So in terms of adjustments, We've, we've covered it all um, but this is a real and raw prep I'm, 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 I'm drained um, so we're gonna wrap this up here obviously thank you for watching if there is anything that you do want to see over these next few days I've had high requests for backstage um, and I'll talk around backstage pump up and how you should structure that that shouldn't be a, a thought on the day it should be strategized in terms of what you're trying to achieve from that pump up and we'll touch on that tomorrow but you know eat these oats put my hood up Hopefully they put me in a carb coma and I can go to sleep. But thanks for watching. I'll see you first thing in the morning.